What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. And you know what, today I'm going to go over why I think Top Coder is better than Code Forces. Okay, the first thing is that Top Coder is so difficult to use that you know just navigating this is a division one question. So if you're able to navigate through this whole user interface, my god, you are very, 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 very good. If you find this easier to navigate, that is very, very good for you. But personally, I think it's a, it's a positive being able to navigate through this very ridiculous UI. But jokes aside, um, if you were to go on Top Coder, th the good thing about Top Coder is that the problems have very bad presets. And that's actually very good. And I think that's a very good because if you were to go to this Top Coder arena and look at, look at look how, how difficult it is to submit something, because you gotta you gotta scroll through this, and then it's very difficult to read, and it's also very difficult to submit a question here, submit your problem sets here, because you not only that you have to submit, then run system tests, then compile. You gotta compile, submit, run system test. You know, because they don't they don't they don't have a way to do it all at once. But anyway, let's the good part about Top Coder is that just just the re main reason why you would want to use Top Coder is because it has bad system tests. And why is this a good thing? Well, um, if you have bad system tests, what does this force you to do? Well, it forces you to come up with ways to uh, different test cases yourself. Like when I was doing a problem in like, uh, I think SRM 800, you know, I screwed up a lot because of um, this problem where I failed the system tests. I got zero because I didn't think of one simple test case that would have passed it. You know, just just a simple test case I would have passed this if I if had I just thought of it more better, right? Thought of different test cases and I would have passed. So it actually forces you to think of the test cases yourself, so that if, when you do transition to Code Forces or any of the other coding platforms, you'll be able to do the test cases. You'll be able to think of test cases yourself because Top Coder doesn't give you anything. Okay. So another good thing about Top Coder is that if you go on Top Coder, um, remember they have really terrible test cases. So what does that tell you? <clears throat> well, if they have terrible test cases, they force you to hack. So if you are really good at hacking, it forces you to read other people's code. So once you finish submitting, you got, you could actually read other people's code and they would tell you, uh, you could try to figure out how to break their code and uh, try to read unreadable code because some of these problems are very unreadable. Some of this code is very unreadable. Yeah, I don't know what, what the hell is going on with this. So if you are able to read through this unreadable code, well, props to you because you'll become a good developer by being able to endure pain. So that's a good part about Top Coder, all right? Being able to endure pain from being able to read through unreadable code, all right? So another thing about t good about Top Coder is that Top Coder, <clears throat> they have a chat system. Right? You could talk to people in the room. So if you if you're having stuck and you want to troll a bunch of people, you could actually join a room and then just troll as many people as possible. And you could look at their info and then troll them if you want. So if you're really good at trolling, then this is good for you because you could just chat with people. I could say I will get to green and I never get to green. And then um, another good thing about Top Coder is that when you troll people, you are more likely to get targeted because they show you your color, right? So you are generally grays have, are more likely to, to get targeted by the other other colors, right? If you're green or gray, because generally they're more likely to get targeted. So you'll probably get hacked first because your color is showing throughout these um, these these chat rooms. So yeah, if you look at the leaderboard and look at the people who who uh, get targeted the most, it's generally the the uh, grays that are get targeted the most. And um, yeah, that's actually good because it actually forces you to try to learn better and become a better coder. So being able to getting targeted by greens and higher up people who are higher rated than you because more likely your your code is garbage and can't pass the system test, you're more likely to learn from this and be able to get through of getting hacked. So yeah. so. This is the main reason why I believe Top Coder is way better than Code Forces. Um, rate, cop, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.